Hi, Jeff from Lockwood Painting here. I just wanted to take you on a tour of our storage unit, a uh, place where we store a lot of our equipment. Uh, unfortunately, we uh, work in an area that's a little bit of a ways from where our home base is, so we uh, opened up the storage unit to uh, make tools and equipment and paint accessible to staff um, closer to where we're working. Uh, we've been doing it for many, many years, so it's coming quite handy. So I thought I'd share this with you uh, in hopes that if you run into the same issues we have uh, with uh, work uh, at a distance, um, you may be able to set up something along the same line. So this is your typical uh, 10 by 15 storage unit. Um, we have uh, lots of racking in here just to hold all the stuff and then an area where we can actually get through. Um, to get things. Uh, we have a rack for, for just extra paint and primer, uh, things that we can bring back from a, a job and maybe use on the next job. It's uh, come in quite handy, uh, especially if there's shortages, the supply chain shortages, we've been able to store uh, extra stuff in here uh, to make sure that we have it when we need it. Um, more racking with uh, safety box and buckets and uh, brushes and roller sleeves. We, keep, uh, we always keep about 10 bags of roller sleeves on hand just in case uh, the stores in this area run out, uh, which has happened time to time, so it's been handy for that. Uh, roller cages in the bottom, garbage can, uh, cups for mixing mud up in, uh, trays, tray liners, uh, drywall mud, uh, extra cut cans. We always save extra cut cans, at least eight on, on hand at all times. Uh, wallpaper removal solution. Uh, we keep our wallpaper insulation box and our wallpaper removal box, which we'll talk about uh, a little bit later. Uh, rags, lighting equipment, extension cords. Uh, we keep a, lot, a number of saw horses when we're doing exterior stuff, when we're doing awnings or shutters or things like that. And we can we have we, we can do them all if we have as many uh, saw horses as we need. Uh, a pivot. We always we have four pivots that we own. Uh, we keep them on hand, they're quite handy indoors and outdoors for stairways and uneven areas. Uh, we keep a lot of fans on, on hand. Uh, those fans specifically uh, are excellent fans, they're lightweight, they're durable, uh, and I end up getting them uh, online at Walmart. Uh, and they're, well, they're, they're more, uh, reasonably priced and they work well, so uh, if you're looking at getting some fans, we, we tried the metal fans, we figured they would be more durable, but they're quite heavy and get damaged in transport where the plastic ones don't. Um, we keep garbage bags on hand, caulking, uh, various tools and things. We have a number of uh, handheld sprayers that we store here. Uh, there's our drywall box tools uh, in case we do drywall repair, which we'll again talk about a little bit later. Uh, various spray equipment and handy cans and things for drywall. Uh, all our toolboxes with tool tools in them. Uh, you know, the laser level and. We have a whole box in there just of color, color decks. Uh, extra ladder, we've got sanders, uh, and some vacuums, I think, in the bottom there. Uh, we always keep a, a, a large supply of drop sheets on hand. We have enough to do about 4,000 square feet at any given time, and they range in size from 4 by 12 to 30 by 50s. Um, ladders, we keep our excess ladders in here, and our, our planks are kept in here as well, the extra planks uh, for doing stairwells. Time to time we keep uh, our spray equipment in here, um, but a lot of it's out for service at the moment. Um, we have door deckers here as well, somewhere. I guess they're out. Um, and we also have uh, racking for doing trim, uh, trim and trim and various other things. Um, the erector rack, I don't know if you've heard of erector rack, I'll probably do another video on erector rack at another time. So basically, that's uh, the quick, quick tour of our storage unit. Uh, let's look into some of these boxes and see what we have in there. Here's a brief look inside of our safety box. It's got uh, lots of hard hats in because you know your employees are always forget their hard hats when it comes to new construction. So we have a number of them in there um, just in case anybody forgets them and doesn't have one for the job site. We have ear protection just in case you know the tile guys are in cutting tiles and sound of the saws are loud so that helps. Um, we also keep uh, we also keep a uh, a first aid kit in there. So the first aid kit's always in this box. That way, you know they have access to first aid on site. Um, 
And there's a, a, a copy of... And there's more earbuds. There's a copy of of the uh, Occupational Health and Construction Regulations. Um, that's something you have to make available to all your employees. Make sure that they have so they can read through it, not that anybody ever does. Um, but it's here on site and it's always in this box. So that's just some of the things that we have in our, our safety box, which is supposed to go on to every construction site. Here we'll take a brief look inside our wallpaper installation box. The, uh, the idea of all the different tools that are needed depending on what kind of wallpaper you're installing. Um, sometimes you can put the glue on with a roller, so we always have roller sleeves and things in there. Um, measuring tape's a good idea so you know exactly um, you know, with the size of the wall that you're, you're doing and, and maybe even calculate depending on whether the client bought the right uh, amount of wallpaper or not. Helps you to do that quickly and right away. Uh, seam rollers and glue brushes and um, Trowels here that you smooth out out the wallpaper with when it's wet, uh, depending on whether it, it, you need to apply glue or whether you need to, uh, it's pre-pasted and you have to wet it. There's your trays and liners there for it. Uh, you know, this is always good for um, cutting cutting your wallpaper to size at the end, uh, things like that. So that's basically what's inside our, our wall, wallpaper installation box. Now we'll take a quick look inside our wallpaper removal box. Here we've got uh, two Wagner power steamers. Uh, when the wallpaper is really tough and won't come off, we've got two in here. Um, we've got drywall knives just to help remove uh, wallpaper. Uh, spray bottles, great for um, putting on the solution. Um, normally we don't use diff. There's diff in here, but um, normally we're using. And I'll take a quick look at what's up here on the shelf. Uh. We like to use Dynamic Wall Chomp. It's a great solution for uh, deactivating the glue and uh, taking stuff off. It works within minutes. As long as you spray it on, let it do its thing, and then take it off, yeah, wallpaper should almost just fall right off. And so you can get it in either of these uh, containers here or you can get the concentrated containers or you can get them in in the, in the spray bottles so yeah no great uh, great product to use for wallpaper removal so and we keep that separate from the, the drywall box because um, you know winter time things get left in the area and things may freeze so um, yeah so anyways that's what's inside the wallpaper removal box so there it is, that's our, uh, our, our storage unit and what we keep close to where we're working. Uh, if anybody has any questions on how to set up their own, uh, what the kind of approximate costs are for rental, um, just, just uh, message me below and I'll try to answer your questions. Alright, again, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.